Hey, it's me again. It's James. Uh, today I'm here to talk about specifically the Bull Goose V Long collaboration for the Lord Randall brush. Now, the Lord Randall comes in a few different hair types. It comes in uh, white horse hair, brown horse hair, uh, badger and horse hair mix and the silver tip badger. Now, I got this one uh, because I have a beehive and the beehive horsehair is a very nice brush but I wanted to try something different from Beelong. Uh, so I went ahead and ordered this one and just like always, Phil gets it to you pretty darn quick. And when it comes to you, the only thing that's kind of offsetting about the smell is doesn't have an animal smell to me. It has more of like a, a mothball smell. Like it has something in it that's going to keep it uh, preserved, maybe, or you know, keep it from being damaged. Uh, so what you're going to want to do before you start shaving with it is, uh, I would suggest a mild shampoo. Uh, me myself, I used Paul Mitchell's, one of their plain shampoos, and uh, lather up with that. You're going to get some, um, what looks to be like almost like some type of oil type base stuff. And it's going to be brownish in color. And you're going to see that come out when you squeeze the lather out of it. And it's going to come right out of there. So you're going to want to do that first. Get that out. Rinse it really well. And then you're going to want to do several test lathers um, with various soaps that, and creams that you may have. Just to see uh, how it performs and to also help get more of that stuff out of the brush. Um, I did several soaps and I've already done a couple shaves past uh, rinsing it out, lathering it up and rinsing it out with the shampoo. So that smell is almost gone now. And uh, all I can say is I've had this one soaking a little bit so you can see it's kind of pushed out. Um, <clears throat> it's a very nice brush. Uh, very comparable to other brushes in its price range. Uh, here it is next to the Simpsons Shave Nook brush. And the knot here is about the same. The loft, oh, it seems to be just a few, maybe one or two, three millimeters taller, maybe. Uh, they're really close. Uh, this is more of what seems to be more like a fan style, and this is definitely more bulb. Uh, just whatever your preference is. This is a fantastic brush. Uh, the hairs on this are outstandingly soft. It's a dense brush, but it releases lather. Well, what I can say is this Lord Randall same thing what I've had so far is that it is the silver tip uh, holds lather releases it and is plenty soft uh, definitely a outstanding purchase and I mean look at that malachite handle I mean that is just beautiful and that's what attracted me to it uh, seeing it on top of that white horsehair uh, again, I was almost dead set on buying the white horsehair, but I was like, no, I want to try the silver tip, and I'm so glad I did, and thanks, Phil. Um, Phil's done a video on his website highlighting the range. I'm going to focus on this one since this is the one I have, the silver tip. Uh, I'll post Phil's link to his YouTube Bull Goose site so that you can see the range that he has there. Uh, anyway... I'm going to grab my lather here real quick, uh, my soap. I'm going to be using the DDC from Prairie Creations. is uh, one of my favorite soaps from them. Uh, it's been soaking a while. I poured the water out of the top. The brush was soaking too and I just squeezed it out. I like to squeeze out my brushes rather than leave water in them because I'll just add moisture as I go along. Alright, 
So that was what, 15, 20 seconds or so. Uh, there's soap in there. I'm going to put a little bit of water on the top again. Just a little bit. I don't think you can see it in the video, but it's just a few droplets just to really help push the soap down in there. Alright, now to me, I feel that um, in my setup, Chrissy soaps tend to be a little uh, extra loading. So I'm going to do it one more time. A little bit more water to the top. And put just a little too much, so I'm going to drop some out there. A little bit more. There we go. A little bit more. There. All right. So that's plenty of load. I'm going to bowl lather. So I'm going to empty out my mug bowl. Just water glistening in the bottom. I'm going to take this creamy goodness and take my finger and put it in the bowl. So that creamy stuff that's highlighting there, the proto lather that many refer to it as, just taking it out off the top. I'm going to put that in there. That proto lather is going to have some moisture to it, hanging on to the, some of that water. So, starting out with a dry br drier brush is okay. I'm going to set my soap on right, the side. Back. Okay. And now, without adding water first, we're going to go ahead and start to try to build the lather, just using the moisture that was already in here. so far. Really flattening out the brush a little bit here. Alright. I'm going to scoop some of this around the edges and just to show what we're getting. And I'm going to put that back here. I like this bowl a lot. Um, to me this uh, TSN bull, bill bowl. It really, just a little bit more. It really uh, seems to help me break in my brushes more because it has uh, not such a slick finish inside, a little tiny rough. And especially for bore brushes, I like that because it helps uh, get those tips of splitting. And as long as you got something in there to help you with the slickness, I don't feel it's damaging at all the hairs. I just think it does help in the break-in process. At least that's what I feel. Alright. But the only issue I have is since it is more like a mug in the way the lip goes up, is anything that has... Um, little bit thicker handle to it. I tend to smack the edges more. That irritates me. Okay, so as you can see that's building up nice and creamy in there. Look at that. Okay. And 
since I'll be using a straight today, I'm going to put in just a little bit more water just to make sure I got the moisture and slickness since I take a little while to straight shave. Uh, I'd much rather have that extra moisture in there. And that'll be all I add. I mean, that's just great. Oh, yeah. That should be fine. Um, the only other moisture there will be is for me rinsing my face off. So, uh, I'll be right back. And I'm wet my face. Alright. I'm back. And now the brush. I didn't shower today, but I did prep by washing off my face really well with some Dr. Bronner's peppermint. I got about five days growth. Hmm. Look at how that brush performs. If there is a scritch, I don't detect any at all. Um, to me, it has plenty of backbone. but yet soft. I mean, excellent. Nice. Nice and slick. Brush still holding plenty in there. Generated plenty for a couple passes and some touch up. Alright. We're gonna grab the razor. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. Alright, so here I have a Philharmonica number 14. And this is a user grade. You'll see some NOS's offered out there, but this was user grade. This is a 7 8 and I can tell you that I can see why folks like this razor. If it comes with a good edge, it doesn't take much to, to keep it shave ready. Um, I ran it through my stones, <coughs> pardon me, just so that I could see uh, and get it closer to what I've come accustomed to honing for myself. and it feels fantastic. So, let's see. Nice. The brush has provided plenty of uh, lather which has a nice cushion up here one thing I've noticed is be careful as you're new to straight shaving and you're going to stretch and come down and stretch some more uh, be careful that that blade isn't locked on your skin when you're Additionally, pulling it as you got the razor there. You can find good razors out there. Um, again, aesthetically, they might not be the most beautiful compared to what they once were, but uh, this, this is still in outstanding shape. Normally, there's etching that's on here. And what probably happened is uh, someone along the way probably was restoring the blade itself and took all that off. But that's fine. It's got jimping here and here. It's just an outstanding blade. Again, Philharmonica 14.
One thing I'll say is make sure if you like to hold your straight and anything outside of having the handle wrap through your fingers like such that your scales are tight enough so that you're not uh, having something flop on you. Don't want to be startled. This is the first traditional straight shave I've done uh, since I've been using the Feather Artist Club non-folding. Haven't shaved since Good Friday. For me, that's pretty good. Uh, leathers, because I do take longer, leathers still starting to dry out. So, I'm going to go ahead and rinse. All right, I'm back. Lather up. It's still got plenty that it's holding. I don't feel it's having any problems releasing. Mm, a little weeper. I'm going to rinse and do a mostly touch up and that'll be it. Alright, I'm back. Alright. So as you can see, holds plenty of lather coming in here. Lathered up my face for the third time and uh, feels great. Brush has been great. Does well with creams. Does well with soaps. Uh, all in all, very happy with my purchase. And I like the handle. Uh, I think the contrast with the white hair on the the white horse hair looks really cool as well. And who knows, maybe down the road if I want another horsehair and Phil still has some of these available, I'll snag another one. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and finish my touch-up pass, but thank you for watching.